Say that you have an array of numbers in JavaScript, and you need to find the maximum value in that array. That would be the largest number. Now, it's quite easy to do this, and you don't have to write loops or anything. We can just use JavaScript built-ins to go and find that maximum value. Now, to demonstrate this, we're going to be using this array here that I've defined. So we have a simple array, and again, we're going to try to find the maximum. Now, we're going to use the built-in math.max function. So math.max, and again, math here has a capital M, so make sure you have capital M and then .max. And you might have used this function before, but you might have just used it by passing in two number arguments, so something like 1 and 5, and then max would return the maximum of these two values. So it's going to return 5 in this case, because obviously that is the larger number. Now, the secret here is that math.max actually takes any number of arguments. So we could pass in 1, 5, and then 3, and then 8 or something like that. And now it's going to return the largest number of all of these, which is actually 8. Now, to go and apply this to an array, all we have to do is call math.max with the values from our array. So let's go and do that. So I'm going to go back here, get rid of the arguments. And I'm going to use the JavaScript spread operator to call math.max with all of the arguments from this array. So I'll say dot, 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 which is the spread operator. And then I'll say ARR, which is our array. And you can see that now it is going and finding the largest value from this array, which also happened to be 8 in this case. So very easy to go and apply this math.max function to any array of numbers that we might have. Of course, if we instead wanted to find the minimum value, instead of calling math.max, we could just say math.min. And now we're going to get the minimum value, which for our array up here is negative 2. So very easy to find the maximum or minimum value of an array using the spread operator and the math.max or math.min built-in functions. Now, there is one important note, and that is if you are dealing with a very, very large array of numbers. So this approach will work for pretty much all reasonably sized arrays, but if you have an array with like a million elements or something, this will not work. So let's go demonstrate that. So I'm going to go find where I defined a very large array. So here I'm creating an array with a million elements filled with random values between 0 and 100. So here's my big array, and let's say we want to find the max value of that big array. So I'll say big array here. And you can see that the Chrome DevTools has now thrown an exception. So it is saying the maximum call stack size is exceeded, which is a little bit of a confusing exception. But what has happened here is that we have tried to call the math.max function with a million arguments, and it was not happy with that. So we're running into a limitation of the JavaScript runtime. If you need to find the maximum value of a very large array, we need a different approach. And there's a number of ways you could do this. You could write your own loop. But the approach that I prefer using is the reduce uh, function. So that is a built-in function on arrays. So we'll say big array here, and then we're going to call it reduce on this. And reduce is going to loop through the array and accumulate some result by looping through the array. So the first argument for reduce is the function that is actually going to do the accumulation. That function is going to take the previous value, which is the accumulated result, and then the current value. And we're going to call math.max on the previous value and the current value. So just looping through the array here. Whoops, let's go and fix that. And then the second argument to the reduce call here is the initial value. So I'm going to pass in negative infinity. Now, when we pass in negative infinity, obviously everything should be greater than negative infinity. So that should not be something that gets returned unless you happen to pass in an empty array when you're making the call here. So now let's go and make that exact same call. And we can now get the maximum value of that very large array, which is this number with a lot of nines in it. Of course, there are plenty of other ways to do this. Reduce, I find, is just a pretty clean way to express this. In most cases, though, you can probably just use the spread operator we were using before, so just calling the spread operator. And that will work well for many reasonable sized arrays. If you really need to handle any array that could be quite large, try using an approach like reduce instead. So that's how you can find the maximum value from an array of numbers in JavaScript.